I don't often do product reviews on my channel. Um, there's plenty of channels on YouTube that do that. In fact, YouTube's kind of oversaturated with that. But it's really great when normal everyday people who aren't being paid to talk about a product can give you their two cents on something they've used. There is something I want to share with you. Uh, a backpack that I've been using for the past month that I am very tickled with. Um, it is, and one reason I'm so excited about it is A, it's an excellent backpack, but B, it is actually a locally made backpack in my hometown of Ocala. It's made by a, a vet in Ocala. I don't know this guy. Uh, he's not a buddy or anything like that. Um, I just happened to be in a local uh, technical store, uh, place called the Gear Barrel. Real great place in Ocala that has a lot of high-end uh, knives. Uh, in fact, I was, um, I was in there looking at Strider knives and looking at some other stuff that they had. And I saw this backpack back at Christmas time up on the shelf and I said that is an awesome looking backpack and I took it down and looked at it and went home and did some research and came back and bought it and I actually bought it for Christmas for a family member but the family member uh, has not been backpacking at all actually it was my grandfather and in his earlier days he used to do a lot of uh, not tent camping but a lot of hunting out of a backpack where he would uh, throw a medium Alice pack on his back and he would go walk the woods and he might kill a deer, you know, way, way, way back in the back country somewhere and uh, clean it right there, you know, string it up on a tree, uh, skin it, quarter it and debone it and then pack it out in that pack. And when I was a young and I would go with him on those trips and it was such a neat experience. I remember um, one time him killing a buck that way, another time killing a great big hog and I remember volunteering to try to pack the meat out with that medium Alice pack and I just, I couldn't do it. I ended up falling in the creek with the pack. But those were, those were good memories I had and I was hoping that he might be able to do that again with me. Um, you know, but he's, you know, he, he, he's still, for, for his age, he's in his mid 80s now. He's very strong, he's very active, he still hunts, but he can't really, you know, he, he can't necessarily ho hoist, you know, 60 pounds of meat on his back like he used to. So I bought this pack for him, but he really wasn't in a position to use it. So uh, he ended up giving it back to me. And I said, well, this is such a great looking pack, although I like my large Alice pack for, for the same purpose that I use it for now, which is what he did, which is, you know, taking it hunting, packing meat out with it. Um, let's try this pack. It's kind of my all around woods pack and see how it does. And I have been nothing but completely pleased with this pack, so I want to give it a review today. It is based out of Ocala, Florida. This bag is handmade in Ocala. Every component on this bag is handmade and hand-stitched. Uh, the, even the straps and the clips are made in America. Everything is made here. Everything is put together here. Um, and uh, it has an unlimited lifetime warranty which is really neat. It's really hard to find a bag to where if something goes wrong with the bag, the maker will stand by it 100% and, and fix it for you under an unlimited warranty. So, so it's got a fantastic warranty. And those were all selling points for me. And um, I ended up uh, uh, falling in love with this bag. So let me show you what this bag's about. Even though this is a set model with a set design, one of the neat things about this being a custom-made bag is that it can be made to order according to your specifications. If you need it to be made bigger or smaller than this bag is right here, the standard Legionnaire model, it can be made that way. You need something else added to it, it can be added to it. You just have to talk to um, the guys over at uh, ITC and they can let you know what they can do for you. First, the material that it's made out of is a really thick multi-cam material. Really sturdy, really durable. The cushion part here is actually treated with silver. So it actually kills bacteria. Also, uh, I've actually spilt water on this before and it's pretty waterproof. The water doesn't soak through here into the inside of the bag. Um, it's very adjustable. You can actually adjust out, in or out these, um, uh, these kidney straps here. Uh, you can make it wider 
or shorter depending on what your preference is. See so like I can go like this, it's velcroed in and I can pull them out further or I can shrink them back in according to what I want. They've got molly here on these and I usually will, will wear my gun on one of, usually on this side right here. Um, there's also molly on the back of it here, webbing, and then there's webbing on the inside, but we'll get to that in a moment. It's divided into three main components. There's your, your main component here. There's another component here. And in between is a pretty big pouch. You can see I can stick my arm all the way down in it. And uh, I use this for putting items that I might want to be accessing while I'm out in the woods walking with the pack. Like my little folding 22 fits in here really good. Actually, it's my wife's. My wife's little badger fits in here. Uh, you know, tools can fit in here good. Whatever you might want to just reach out and get, you can Velcro this shut. You can also cinch it down with this. It's got cinch straps all over it, so if you wanted to cinch down items on the side of the pack or on the top of the pack or on the bottom of the pack, you can, as well as on the, the, the rear of the pack here. So it's got plenty of, of outside room for storage. On the outside here, there's some webbing, and you could put a lot of weight on this if you wanted to it's really strong but I just usually keep my thermocell back here sometimes I'll put my tool pouch back here depending on what I'm doing or if I'm kayaking I'll have this the bag between my legs and I might put my tool bag right here or my fishing bag onto this so that I can um, access it easy although it's also pretty easy to access in here too but we'll get to that in a second there's some velcro here in the bottom if you want to put patches on it now i'm not one of those people that's into patches but a lot of a lot of people are so there's a place for that there's um all kinds of places on here for either little tool loops or you can also make bigger cinching loops out of them for rolls of stuff depending on what you want and again like on my bag I have my straps pretty short most of my straps but if you when they build the bag for you if you want the straps to be longer you can just specify hey I really would like say the the side loopy straps to be maybe you know you know 12 inches long instead of you know the eight inches long or so that this is right here so um again you can have kind of built however you want but for my purposes i i have plenty of room on the top and the sides to, and on the back back here to cinch down big stuff so i just use these little side ones here for just like tool loops like uh, for my hatchet or for my spade they fit really good in these these little loops here but i also keep my my bush knife here on the side of it here on one set of these straps uh, just so it's easy access um, when I first looked at the bag for my own use as opposed to my grandfather's use one thing I initially said is I wish I had webbing on it down here on the side of the bag uh, for putting a cradle for a gun rest and in fact I now know that you can request the bag that way if you want it but I actually found that that's unneeded. I like to sometimes carry my rifle strapped in my bag and these cinching straps are so strong, uh, I can take like a, like a heavy air gun and strap it down on here and cinch it down really tight and this will hold it really good and solid while I'm walking with it. So, uh, so the outside of it is very utilitarian, very practical. On the inside here on this outer pouch, you have some some webbing here that when you when you buy the backpack it will come with some um, some stretchy paracord in it and um, the I call it paracord I don't know if it's technically paracord if it stretches or not but it's stretchy cord and I've actually used a lot of it I used a lot of it on my bushcraft trip but you can all you can use the cord to cinch things down with on this webbing but the main thing that it's for is you actually just have it convenient so you can cut it off as you need it um, you have webbing underneath here uh, which I use to attach my toolkits to uh, one toolkit has all my basic camping item, items, flashlight, knife, fire kit. This one over here has a lot of my camera recharging equipment in it. 
keep my water purifier down here. Got lots of bits of rope I keep down here. There's some pouches here in the bottom here, open pouches um, for storing knickknacks. But this this component is very very strong. You you can put a lot of weight in this right here, and even though it's pulling, it, you can hold it really tight, and it doesn't feel like it's going to pull off. Of course, I talked about this already. The main compartment here. Um, it doesn't have side access like some bags do, you know, like they say the Kelty bags do, but it opens so much that you kind of don't need it. See, it opens up like a clamshell. And over on this side, it has a series of straps that I use to either cinch my tent down with when I'm carrying my tent or to cinch um, clothes down with. Uh, it's actually made for a laptop is what they had in mind, but, but it, clothes work great here, or just some, any sort of item you can fold kind of flat. It's got a pouch for a hydration bladder. And by the way, my hydration bladder, I brought a platypus with me and it, it was fantastic. I normally don't fool hydration bladders, um, but it is so convenient having a source of cool water on your back. And you know it's a lot of water, two liters of water. Uh, so that's really great. That, that beats a canteen all day long. So um, this is just camera stuff. It has on this side a set of rings. And the contemplated use of the rings is to put little draw pouches on so you can kind of keep things organized. Lots of backpackers like to keep things organized in draw pouches, and I do do that. I keep my toiletries in, in a pouch, and I keep miscellaneous, usually camera gear like batteries and whatnot in another pouch, although I also got my tobacco pipe in there. However, uh, I have also found that these loopies are really good for um, little bungee cords and straps. You can strap put straps in here and cinch something down like a um, like my little thermal rest bedroll will cinch down on these or you can wrap them in small bungee cords and put them in here and hold them that way too so you can keep things organized that way it is a just a great 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 system and I really love it it's really rugged and uh, this has become my all-purpose bag I use it hunting I use it camping I use it on this bushcraft trip. Uh, it's sort of becoming my prized outdoor possession. You know, it's that good of a bag. So, um, if you're interested in one, contact the guys over at ITC. I will put their website down. They also got a Facebook page. Um, the Legionnaire is not currently listed on their website, uh, but I did talk to, like I said, I don't know the owner personally, but I have met him in person before I, I did this video. I did talk to him. I wanted to talk to him about his product line before I said anything about it, make sure I had my facts right. And, um, uh, and he doesn't have the Legionnaire up on his website because he builds them to order. But, uh, but you can ask him about the Legionnaire. You can talk to him. See, he can build a bag to your specifications. You'll see that he actually sometimes custom builds, like for our, some of our local um, fire services and emergency crews, he'll custom build bags for them. Uh, so, and they'll be fresh designs. Yeah, so uh, talk to him about the bag you want, but he hand makes these bags, and that's really awesome. Uh, so, um, so I love this bag. It's the Phoenix Infinitum Legionnaire, and you're going to be seeing a lot more of it in videos to come.